Hey everyone, it's John again. I'm going to play Immaculate Grid. Again, going for the low rarity score. Also the uh, the time version, doing both. Um, got both yesterday. I think I was under 50 seconds and sub five. I think it was a four. Um, so pretty uh, pretty good day. Great to build on. Shout out to uh, my uh, sister and my, uh, my brother-in-law. They got me a set of 2023 Tops factory set of uh baseball cards i'm gonna add it to the uh uh the shelf over there um maybe it'll be a bonding opportunity for me and my son we'll get to uh sort the cards by team or maybe we'll just leave them because they're in like numerical order in the box so i don't know what i always sort of sorted them by uh by team when i was a kid i always pull out the star players and put them in a binder that's what those binders are that was always my thing with baseball cards anyway let's uh that's the source of my infatuation with uh knowing what uh what teams people have played for looks like this was the rarity game from yesterday let's hit refresh let's hit go and away we go this will be the time version all right uh jeremy sorry burnett's uh let's go rick Sarone. oh that's a pretty rare one and then uh, down here, um, should be able to come with someone. Let's go with uh, Sean Barry. Man, that took way too long for the Brewers. Come on, John. Uh, Gaetti got over there for a little bit. Uh, Boggs, that's going to be really popular. And uh, Morgan Ensberg. Let's go Sosa. Keep it simple. Ted Williams and Altuve. Bam. All right. 53 seconds after some study. I, I don't know why it took me so long to come up with the Brewer, Brewer Astro. Uh, Sean Berry, that 0.2%. There's a lot of good choices there. I mean, you got Jim Wynn, Franklin Stubbs, Keith Ginter, Ron Valone works. Uh, Ron Valone works for a lot of teams. Um, three percent from Jeremy Burnett. No, no surprises. Pretty much anywhere here. Gaetti only pulling one percent for. I don't know why my mind went to nineteen ninety eight. It was uh first season I really followed the Cubs. So, you know, tangentially as they were beating up on the Brewers. Anyway, that'll uh loot for that one. Stop share reshare. And let's get that one. And we can just hit refresh on this. All right. I think we'll go with Jason Bure again. He's usually pretty. I was well, no, that was that was a lot lower than Burnett's. Um, over here for the Red Sox, Ed Romero. It's on the eighty-two Brewer team. Pretty low, but could be lower. And then I think of the names I spouted out just now. Let's go with Keith Ginter. All right, and I went to Ensberg. I should have gone with Bregman. Ensberg was probably pretty low. Um, and I already used Sean Barry. He also would have worked. Okay, interesting. I'll have to think about who I want to want to do over there. So you got Boggs, Devers, um, John Valentin. Valentin also makes his way over there. Um, in the nineties. Bill Miller will work. He was on the 04 Red Sox. Mike Lowell will work. He was on the 07 Red Sox. So um, not sure about those. Euclid definitely works. He moved over from first to third when the Red Sox got Adrian Gonzalez. You got Devers. And I'm not really sure who's in the middle between Euclid and Devers. I'd have to go back and look. None of those guys seem like they'd be particularly good. Pick. Actually, Romero would have been. He played all over the infield, so he'd be a good pick. Um, uh, Shea Hillenbrand. That's a that's a baseball name. Um, let's see, Steve Lyons. I think might have played. Actually, I don't know if he played for the Red Sox, but he played all over the place. Um, if you're going pre Boggs, boy, I'm trying to think of. Uh, I want to see Petroselli played both shortstop and third base. I don't know how rare that's going to be. I think I'm going to go with John Valentine. 
or maybe it's Valentin. Valentin, if, please comment if I'm getting hit, the pronunciation of his name wrong. Uh, I know he crushed it. Uh, now I'm thinking, you know where I want to play him now is actually over here because he had a great 1995 season. Probably should have been MVP. Um, or at least he was a better candidate than his teammate, Mo Vaughn. So I'm actually going to play him here. Goes point three, pretty pretty good. Um, and then who does that leave of the names I mentioned? Um, what Jeff Fryver? I think he was more of a second baseman. But it seems like when Nomar came up, uh, Valentin moved to third, and Fry was more or less at second base. But I think Fry played in different places. Um. Let's go Rico. Let's see how that does. Takes three percent. Not bad, but I could have done. I don't know if uh like Hill and Brand would have been lower. Miller and Lowell, I wanted to stay away from just because they were on World Series winning teams. Devers is the current guy, so I just none of those seem like they'd be great options. Uh let's see, I believe Honey Zimmerman. Old school third baseman for the Cubs. That goes really low. Had a huge year. One of those years. Also would have been a good pick over here. Um, For the uh, Astros, I'm going to go with someone who also would have worked here, and that is Dickie Thon. See how that goes. Point three. Pretty good. Let's see who are some who's a not so obvious cub would have gotten there and then we need an Astros third baseman um well man I'm struggling with Astros third baseman for for whatever reason I wonder if Bagwell ever played over there because Bagwell the rub on Bagwell is that he was in fact I've got prospect card of him there with the uh, I think it was like the New Brunswick Red Sox um, and uh, I, I think it says third base but like he was blocked at third base by Wade Boggs blocked at first base by Mo Vaughn that's why the Red Sox felt they could trade him to the Astros in exchange for Larry Anderson um, all that being said it uh, yeah, that, that was a silly trade but I'm, I'm not sure if Bagwell ever played any third base. I know he was at first pretty early on, though. Um, I mentioned that Sean Berry will work. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm. I've got so many gaps with the Astros. They, I shouldn't have the, this many gaps with the Astros. I don't want to play Bregman. That's that's too obvious. I've already played Berry. Um. Vinny Castillo will work. I wonder how many people are remembering him as third as a as an Astro. Everyone remembers him as a third baseman, but as an Astro. Um let's see. I'm trying to think if there's someone from the 60s or the 70s that I should really know. But I'm not coming up with anyone. So I'm gonna throw Vinny Castilla in there. He still goes sub one. Not a lot of people remember he played for the Astros. That was that was a pretty solid pick. This is the pick I really should have should have done a lot better on. Everyone else has been really good in this game. Um, all right. Uh, for the Cubs, um, let's see. What about great pitching season by I believe his name was Larry Jackson. Circa 63-ish. I'm going to select that. 0.02. All right. Solid job. This was this was the weak point. Third base. But a, a score of five went sub minute, sub one minute. I'm happy enough with that. I'm going to go eat some dinner. I hear the uh, oven beeping. Thanks so much for playing, and uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow. Peace.